And we are back with uh man, when was the last time I did one of these tear makers? Like it's it's been a it's been a long time. And man, that that light, that sun is bright back there. Sorry. So alright, so we're just gonna get into it um with uh with a uh, little tear maker on Apex Legends, uh which um like I said I've not done one of these tear makers in a long time. And uh um yeah, so I've been kind of looking for one to do, and uh, we're about to hit Season 4 in Apex Legends, and there's been some buffs and nerfs on some people, so this is during the whole uh, Grand Soiree event, so right before, about uh, two weeks before uh, Season 4 is going to start. Um, so it's after all the buffs of uh, Gibraltar and uh, the, the recent nerf on Wraith. Um, I don't think there's anybody else just recently... Even... I don't. Oh, and the uh, the buff on crypto. So uh, there's a EMP uh, buff on crypto. So I'm gonna run through these. I'm just gonna go in order. Um, so there's no uh, you know no funny business here. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's just jump right into it. All right. So Bangalore is kind of at like a perfect state, I think. Um, I I really didn't play with her much until. Um, towards the end of season two and, and uh, into season three here. Um, and uh, she's she's a lot of fun. Uh, her smokes are super effective. It's just gotta be used right. Um, I, I think she's really in a really good state. So I'm gonna put her kind of like right in the middle there. Um, like I said, she doesn't need a buff. She doesn't need a nerf. Um, I think she's in a really good spot. Now, Bloodhound, um, I think, uh, could use, he is, he is very fun to use, his ultimate is awesome, um, but I think he could use a little bit of a buff, um, probably, um, the, the passive, I think, needs to be adjusted, they did fix the, the bug where it wasn't telling the amount of seconds, um, on his, uh, on his tracking, on his passive, uh, the tactical could use a buff, I think, I don't like that it, it notifies everybody, well, when somebody gets scanned or, or uh, the sonar uh, comes out, so the fact that you can see it um, bugs me. Uh, the ultimate is, I think, pretty decent. Um, I don't have a problem with the ultimate at all, so... Uh, but he could use a little bit of a buff. Um, Caustic, he is fun to play, but man, like, if he's used wrong, or he can have such a huge effect on the team. Um, I'm gonna get some some plaque for this one, but I, I feel like I feel like if his gas was not bothering other people, like his own teammates, uh, I think it would be better. But the fact that everybody can't see through it and um, I don't know, he is for the effective late game, so I'll, I'll put him in B. Now, Crypto, uh, was, uh, I mean, you can use him very tactically and aggressively. Most people don't. They use him very passively and slow, like, kind of slow play with him, uh, and scan ahead too much. But now with the EMP, um, I think is super effective if you're communicating, oh, as a team. Uh, so I really like where he's at, uh, the drone buff where uh, it's kind of a two-shot uh, thing now. I wish it was a little quieter, but uh, the two-shot and the uh, the more effective buff on the EMP where it doesn't affect your teammates is, is huge. So if you communicate as a team and say, okay, I'm e EMP and now, uh, that, that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I, I think he's in a really good, uh, really good state there. All right, so Gibraltar. Oh man, so you know he was he was by far like the worst character, uh, like season one, season two, you know, start getting buffs. He very arguably just because he feels slow, um, but uh, every single thing about him right now, the fact that he can heal uh, everybody. Um, he is he is right up there as one of those top two top three characters for sure um lifeline now lifeline i think while she is very good um very effective very high pick rate um i think with the buffs on gibraltar who has now basically become lifeline junior i think she gets knocked down a tier i think she's still very super effective and useful um and uh, I think most teams want to have a good lifeline on their team. Uh, she's just less effective um, 
than uh, than Gibraltar is. Because um, with that that gun shield, like one on one fights with with Gibraltar, uh, you're you're not gonna win. Mirage, Mirage, while personality wise is is easily the best, one of the top two legends. Um, I think effect like team effectiveness. Um, I, I think he's uh, he's kind of a C tier uh, person. Um, and, uh, which, which I hate to say, and honestly, I have more time playing, and I, I don't really feel like I have a main, but I feel like Mirage is, is, uh, I, I do have the most kills with Mirage, most game time with Mirage, but, um, uh, he's, as far as the team, uh, and the usefulness of the team, uh, he's, he's towards the bottom, for sure. Um, alright, Octane. Octane is about the same. They're kind of selfish, uh, so as far as teamwork goes, again, personality-wise, uh, fun to play, things like that. I mean, these guys get bumped way up, but as far as a team, he's not super helpful for a team. Um, you know, his, his passive, tactical, ultimate, all are kind of selfish-based. Um, as is as is Mirage's stuff, so um, uh, you know those are those are more C tier things for me. Um, all right, Pathfinder. Uh, Pathfinder is, I think, always going to be uh, at the top for for movement with his weird hitbox. Um, he's so effective for a team. Uh, his escapability is great. Um, uh, his his passive is is okay. Um, it's kind of a weird thing for him, but it makes sense being called Pathfinder uh, for him to to be able to find the next ring. But um, the tactical um, and the ultimate and the speeds on those are fantastic. Um, so the escapability and the movement for a team uh, is uh, is undeniable. Um, Watson. Now Watson, um, I think it was with uh, with like pro leagues and things like that. Watson is, is very much up here. Um, uh, you know, it's a little little with the with the crypto buff. She might get knocked down a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna put her in there with crypto. Um, she's not in the in the open. She's all, I think a little bit more effective in like Kings Canyon, uh, World's Edge. Maybe not quite as effective um, being out in the open. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, kind of choke points in uh, in World's Edge that you go through, uh, coming through train and and uh, all those from like geyser and everything like that there's a lot of choke points uh and all the uh the vaults um so watson's very effective in there and of course late game uh, when it ends towards buildings and things like that so uh watson can be extremely effective um especially against like bangalores and gibraltars too with her ultimate so i'm gonna put her up high um put her in that s tier well, everybody's kind of evened out here. Two, two, two. So Wraith's gonna throw me off. All right. So Wraith, I think I'm gonna move back down to S tier. So she would be uh, in that high uh, superior rating, but I think uh, with her nerf, um, and uh, uh, she's gonna get bumped down. So I think uh, effectiveness-wise, I think if you kind of pick any of these uh, A and higher and mix them all together, uh, get a, a defensive, offensive, and a scout type of a person and uh, then you're pretty much set. But the recent uh, uh, recent nerf with uh, with Wraith knocks her down, I think, a little bit. So there you have it. You know, you can uh, roast away. This is all just opinion based, so uh, no big deal. Uh, that is it. Thanks for watching. Later.